Hello everyone, I hope you've all had a good Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. It's the first video of 2019 and I'm just down at one of the plots at the moment. It's cold, but it's a dry day, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to come down here and get a bit of weeding done. It's been a bit overgrown here for the last month or so, so I thought I'll get down here now it's dried up a little and uh, get a bit of weeding done and then get it covered with a bit of tarpaulin and plastic ready for when come to planting, digging over in the springtime. First things first then, I took a couple of videos just before the back end of last year just to show how things were progressing along on the gardens so what I'm going to do now is just add them into this video so if you've got a couple of dates and you're thinking what's going on with here then it's just because I didn't manage to upload one bitch before Christmas so it's just to show what I was up to and what I've uh, fulfilled all my bits and pieces really just to give an update on how things have progressed and what I had planned etc and what hopefully I have to accomplish and achieve this year so then I'm just sat on this bench at the moment just admiring what I've done uh, all this area was where the pumpkin squash and courgette patch was and basically I've just give it a quick quick weed over got some of the bigger bits out the nettles the uh, the docks a couple of potential thistles etc so I'm just gonna gradually work my way down there this uh, this area here is where I had the peas they didn't do anything in the end I was a bit disappointed really because I thought when we were planting first early peas I would have had a, a crop to come before the autumn would have set in but it weren't to be maybe next time I'll uh, sow them around about early August rather than mid August to late August and then hopefully I might get something to pick in October time uh, anyway so yeah, as I said, the plans over that, I've I'd, I'd done this area, I've probably got about another two to three metres up the uh, the back end, past the tarpaulin area there, just to finish off. I'm not going to do anything, you know, on hands and knees and dig every weed out, because they'll just, uh, they'll just rot away underneath the plastic anyway, and then if there's anything that needs to be dug up before I plant in springtime, I'll just dig them out with a fork. The uh, hazelnut there, and the chestnut, they've started to sprout again but I don't know what I'm going to do with those because a few years ago I had a complaint about the chestnut tree supposedly shading a lot of the next door's garden and they were only there for two years and then they moved on so it was a bit disappointing really because the, the, the new neighbours got no problem whatsoever with, with the trees and it doesn't really block out that much light or it didn't anyway so anyway that's uh, that's another story this area here is where all the fruit bushes are and there's a couple of brambles in there what the birds have obviously self-seeded so I need to get in there and clear that out there's a bit of a carpet area there where I was keeping down some of the weeds in that area down so I'm going to get something similar some more tarpaulin membrane to put in just between this area here um, also as I'm continuing going to weed down there just a bit at a time I will be adding some more of this green black plastic to the plot just to keep the weeds down, pin it down with some bricks and rocks etc. So it'll keep me busy that's for sure. Um, there's an area there where I had a couple of fires back in the last year to get rid of some of the old brambles and twigs and bits and pieces what I've accumulated over the year. That needs raking out, levelling and getting the there's bits of metal on there like old latches and things like that so that needs to be tidied up first. Uh, yeah so that's it really up this top end here there's a couple of rows of potatoes just to get out and then that's about it really the other two beds up towards the greenhouse are fairly decent and then I want to train and cut out all the old brambles blackberries what are on the shed area there so this side is looking respectable than it did a few weeks ago this area here where the loganberries are and the beds there they need weeding out and the raspberry canes want cutting down and the area there where the drums are that's still going to hopefully be where the chicken patch is so that'll get done all in time it's just doing a bit of, bit of time really and not get overawed by everything and then hopefully I'll, uh, I'll see some progress and some effort paid off in the next couple of weeks that's my plan anyway come down here and do a bit of time as I say and then uh, hopefully a few hours worth of work it'll be sorted so on to the other plot then I'll be showing you footage of that after this video but I've been doing quite a bit down there too a lot of the area is quite nice and tidy actually and I've been attacking things like the grape 
and the raised beds so all that's looking quite respectable and put to bed ready really I'm still thinking we're going to get a bad winter I know we're in winter now but I'm still thinking we're going to be getting some snow anytime soon whether it be February, March like last year I will. I do think we'll get something in the foreseeable future so anyway I don't think I'll be uh, doing much when that arrives work wise either so well I've got the time now and a couple of weeks off I'll try and get as much done as I can well, afternoon everyone and welcome to another episode of South York's Allotment. I'm in the shed at the moment, it's looking pretty grim outside. It's the 29th of November today, so we're well into the uh, autumnal period. Quite wet on the floor, so I've not really been doing much outside today, it's more inside jobs. Uh, one thing I've been doing is constructing this plat, French plat, play. Whatever you, however you pronounce it, I'll just put the light on and it's basically where you get a piece of string construct a hoop and interweave each of the onions within the two lengths of string wrap it around, tie it in and then obviously you get this nice bit of a plat effect here and basically all you do then when you want an onion just twist and pull it out. So, so. Uh, it does need a bit of cosmetic treatment in the form of just cutting off these little straddly bits and that just to make it look more appealing. But it'll do the job anyway. I've not got any onion nets this year. They've, the mice have had a couple of them and I can't really be bothered to make any out of the Essien. It's going on a bit, so that should do the job. Uh, I've got a few whites left. I was going to do the same with them, but I've, we've been eating them as soon as uh, I've had chance. So I've only got about eight to ten left. Um, you know, we've ripped through the uh, onions since we I picked them in. I think it was end of July time. But anyway, it's best to be eight and then wasted. Uh, yeah, as you can see outside, you can see on the windowsill there, it's pretty grim. It's starting to rain now. I can hear it on the roof. Um, I've got a few beds cleared there, you can just see the soil. Um, I've got some membrane which I'm going to place over the beds and basically just put them to bed over winter time. It'll stop the cats scratching at them and also hopefully any weeds coming through. In the two beds here which are just positioned uh, there and there, I've got turnips in one and swede in another. The far bed there, just oh, let's come out as soon there. That's it between the wheels of the truck at the top. Um, I've got some parsnips to the left, and then you can see where the wheel is. You can just see tops of the carrots just there. So plenty of a winter root stock veg. Now to the other side, there is a, a bed of peas which I did put in there, um, which they've not done that great really. I th I think I planted them just a bit too late. I did plant them at the end of October and hoping for a harvest at the uh, end of... Sorry, I planted them at the end of August hoping for an, an October, late October harvest because it was very mild still here. Um, but unfortunately it's not been forthcoming so I think I'll just pull those up and just prepare the bed for winter. There's a couple of beds where I'm going to repair and there's also a couple I'm going to change. Um, because the timbers are rotten and also I just want to make them uh, longer and not have any partitional section in the middle because I can still get round and through them which is the uh, the benefit of having raised beds that is that you can get round and without having to struggle and you can reach all areas of the ground um, that is my aim, kind of like this one here at the front which is harboured the runner beans last year and now it's, uh, it's just going to be for the uh, buckets and potatoes so that's pretty much it down for down here at plot 2 like I say it's, there's not a lot going off outside um, it's been raining for the last two days and we've got a bad forecast for the next couple of days so hopefully by the end of the week maybe into the weekend I might get out onto here uh, have a good hour or so clearing all this mess up at the front um, where this membrane area is tidy this uh, raised bed here where the apple tree is uh, strip the netting off that frame because that frame's broke uh, you know just tidy everything up make it look good there's a bag full one of those builders tum bags there full of uh, rubbish weeds and all sorts of whatnot and um, bits and pieces so there's uh, there's plenty coming off 
Uh, I don't. I can't quite come round, so I'll just show you into the greenhouse where the grape is. So this is the grape, and it's finished now, as you can see. It needs a good clear out in here. I need to do it quick actually, because I don't want any of these uh, leaves rotting and creating any disease. There are a few grapes there I did miss, but other than that, it's been a fantastic vine for me this year, uh, which is great. So I need to just get in here and sort the jungle out as such. Get a couple of vines trailed along that vertical line. I need. To, there's another vertical stick here which I'll I'll put across and train the other one up because I've got one red and one white. So I'll take the uh, the main stem off each and then just trim all the side shoots and the leaves down because um, I don't want it too crowded in here and I want it to be quite open and aerated. So like I say doesn't create any diseases but uh, yeah they were just the last bits really it weren't too bad a harvest for the grapes I've got quite a few off if you saw them from my previous videos so I was very very pleased what I might do is where this string is if I can get hold of another piece of uh, metal frame alley frame such as this it's only a flimsy thing but it does the job you know you can see there where the uh, the sh um, shoot suckers, whatever you want to call them, of, of runners. I don't know what you call them really, strands. They basically just anchor the the um, the vine to something so they can climb. Um, so I'll be doing that, making sure they're all tied in anyway. Just, just put a couple of light ties in just to make sure it continues to grow as it should. With plenty of support. So yeah, you can see as it's a bit of a muddle in there, but never mind. I'll get to that shortly. I might even attack it in a bit if I've got my secateurs on me. Uh, this is a garlic area, there's nothing poking through yet, although I only planted that a week or so ago. Um, so, fingers crossed everything's okay. So, that's it for down here, plot two as you can see. It's looking grim. The greenhouse at the moment, and these are the last of the remaining carrots. So, it's about eight weeks ago now since I pulled these for the show, and they've produced some extra foliage really so I've got a couple to get out for my tea so I'll just pull a couple we'll see what they're like like I say I'm not too sure I've got a bit of a green top but it won't matter it's only for eating whoa that's a strange shape if I've ever seen one but well, it's clear very nice and clean excellent That'll do, it's only for eating as I say, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Let's have a look, pull this one here. So again, it's done the same. It's like a squid. But, like I say, very nice indeed. Good carrots there, a couple of good carrots. Shall I get one more? Let's have a look, let's have a couple. Yeah, I'll get one more out, last one. Because I'm going to save the rest for Christmas dinner, Christmas day, so I think this is another one what's Starter, then it's gonna, yeah. Strange that, really strange. So, so it's two carrots, while just like on top of each other, isn't it? Very strange, but smell absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, all right then, very nice. So that leaves me about what a dozen for Christmas dinner. So all good stuff. I'm up in the main greenhouse at the moment and it's a really poor day outside, it's really raining and wet so my task today is try and get as much of this cleared out as I can. As you can see all the tomatoes there, some red, some green. Here we are then, three big black bin bags later and it's all tidied out now ready for having a good wash and clean out. All the bags are there ready to, to be sieved and stacked up. Plenty of cups of tea as well so that's good. A few water salvageable tomatoes so I'll turn them in the house. Tip, put them next to some bananas or in a, a dark drawer with a banana in a brown paper bag. Well, it's four o'clock at the moment and it's just about getting dark, so I'm just going to harvest a couple of bits for some tea for tonight. I'm going to get a parsnip dug up, a few carrots pulled up, I'm going to turn it, see what they're like, the onions, etc. So I'll just uh, dig one of these up and see what we've got. Right then, I'm just going to dig down the side of it, just try and loosen the soil a bit. That's not too bad actually. Usually a, a crunch. That's where it's breaking away. I don't think that's too bad actually, it might come up alright. Hopefully it's clean. 
Oh yeah. Looks all right that. Yeah, nice, nice parsnip that. And we've had a couple of frosts recently, so it'll be nice and sweet. Yeah, quite happy with that. It's a scale next to the fork, so yeah, very good. Leave it on there for the time being. Right, let's have a look what carrots are like. I don't know what to expect with these really because I know I pulled a few a couple of months back and they had a bit of carrot flying them, so not too sure really. But I'm just going to pull a bit of a, a clump out and see what we're left with. Oh, no, not too bad them. A bit on the end looks a bit. I'll be a bit. Uh, Bitey, oh, these are nice actually. I can't remember what variety these were, I think they were nonce. Ooh, that is very interesting. A pair of snakes. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what variety these are. I think they're early nonce, they might be autumn kings. But uh, either way, they're very good. Very good uh, harvest so far. It's nice to be able to pick them and they're not be riddled with carrot fly or anything because I didn't protect these I could protect the ones in the greenhouse on the other plot so they seem to be doing uh, they seem to have done quite well get one more up well that's a lot better that sounds like that beauty oh, that's quite good that I'm quite pleased it's plenty for tea anyway there we go the roots are coming on nicely Right, I'm just going to get a couple of turnips just to finish off then. There's one here, I don't know. It's not too bad. Clean, some it's about a bit of a, an attack on the top, but it, overall it doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we can get another one. And there we go, there's one there. So because uh, I didn't thin them out, I'm just trying to be careful so I don't disrupt the other ones at the side of them. But that should be all right. A couple of turnips. Yeah, I think that'll do. The Swede, they're coming on, building some growth up now, so I'll be all right for a couple of months' time. Some of these radish have gone mega. The size of that one. I'll take that and put that in the stew and all just to see what it tastes like with a bit of radish in. So that's not too bad then. A nice little hole there ready for my dinner. So then onto the plot number two now and as you can see all this area in the grape greenhouse is nice and tidied. There we go everything's all put to bed barring a glove. So what I'll do now is just train some of these up onto the verticals on there and then they can just get loosely tied in ready for next year so update on the garlic and that's doing really well now all of it's come up so as you can see some really good growth setting into winter ready there really pleased with that 100% germination rate onto the raised beds now then and as you can see I've just done the last bit of digging over on the old potato bed that's all been done, I'm going to do it a second time because there's a lot of weeds, that's all what's come out of there. Really thick roots from all sorts of weeds and things, so... I'll have to get another dig over beforehand and top dressing as compost. This, this is finished now, this bed, it's stood its time. I've got another bed ready to go in its place, which will be respectable and it'll be secure and done. Those areas there... All on the black plastic, they're all weeded now and put to bed. As on there, there's only a couple of beds with bits and pieces in now, so all this side here is all done. And I've only got another five beds to sort out there, so all this area is looking good. All finished. So, with the prospect of potential snow, some strong winds and some bad weather coming in, it's not looking too bad really. So hopefully with the next couple of days I can just get them last five sorted out and this one here. And then that'll be everything sorted. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on the next episode. Thanks for my new subscribers. I noticed a few have joined in the last week or so. So hopefully now the new year's out of the way I'll be getting some more footage to you. And hopefully you enjoyed the videos. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.